Today we are going to use the new generative tool from Photoshop on eight really famous artworks and I'm really excited to see the result. Let's get into it. Here we have a representation of Mona Lisa. So let's use the crop tool, extend your selection. Don't put anything here and click generate. It's loading up guys. Oh wow, that's amazing. I'm really impressed by the details of the rock. This is how Leonardo would have painted he, if he has more time, I guess. I'm really impressed. This is result number one. Result number two. Okay, like she's in the water. I like it. And you even have like uh, some stars on the sky. That's beautiful. Result number three. Yeah, not my favorite. I don't know which one I prefer. Can tell me in the comment, do you prefer the first one or you prefer the second one? All right, let's put some flowers on her hand. Beautiful flowers oh wow yeah the first one is not that great but i love the second one yeah that's really pretty now this one is not that realistic but this one is really good yeah let's keep it like this can i make her a hat actually let's make it the shape of the hat so it's easier for photoshop to understand trilby hat i'm really curious <laughs> oh wow yeah, this one is interesting. Wait, let's draw the shape even better. Marriage hat. Mm, no, pretty woman hat. That's insane that they keep the details of the painting. Look at all the details. <laughs> mm, no, that's horrendous. This one could be great. It's like a bicolor hat. Let's do it again. Uh, that's not good. Interesting result. I think she looks way better before. Can I change her hair? Blonde hair. I'm really curious if it's gonna work. <laughs> not that bad, not that bad. All right, let's go to the next one. The Scream by Munch. Prop tool, make it bigger. Choose the selection tool, invert, generate. I'm really curious about this one. What is it gonna do for this? Wow, dude. Wow, that's insane. Interesting. I don't know which one I prefer. This one is even creates like a, another person. Tell me in the comments below which one you prefer. One, two, or three. Oh guys, that is just wow. Details of the sky. This is the original and this is all created by AI. It really works well on paintings. Really impressed. Let's add some birds here. I'm really curious about the results. Wow. <laughs> It really keeps the all the style of the artist. That's really interesting. Let's draw another one. Like birds. Yeah, those are really cool. This is fine. This is nice. Let's add some sun ray. It does actually nothing. My bad. I didn't click on the right layer. <laughs> Looks like the sun uh, I used to draw in kindergarten, you know. Wow. This one is cool. Mm, no. No, no, no. Dude, I really like this one. What do you think about the results? This one is a bit more tricky because you have a lot of faces, a lot of people. Generate, fill, generate. This is going to be interesting. Dude, you understood that it was a roof of a chapel or a church before, after. That is mind blowing. Wow, that's really nice. I mean, guys, this is just a beta. So imagine what can it do in like in two years? Okay, let's see what we can do with both hands. Hmm. Cyberpunk robot hands. I'm really curious. What the hell, man? <laughs> <laughs> no, let's try something else. Apple. Nah, what else? Okay. On the um, smartphone. Why not? That's cool. I like it, this is fine. He's giving him the phone and you just touch it. That's cool. Let's try another one. Dark hair ponytail. Whoa. That is mind blowing. So cool. Guys, look at the details. I'm really, really impressed. Wow, this is, this looks beautiful. Before, after. Can I change the earrings? Flower earring. All I can say is wow on this one. The results, they are amazing. Can I make some glasses? I'm really curious on this one. Nope. I think she won't wear glasses. Venus de Milo in Louvre. 
in Paris if you come here. When I chose this one, I was thinking, can I fix her arm with the generative field? Let's see. I'm really curious about this one. Not sure about my prompt. Stone arm. Stone arm. It's not that bad. Let's extend it first to do the second arm. Generate field. Generate. I'm really curious. Okay. Third one might be the best. Let's choose the second one. And now let's fix her second arm. Oh. I think first one was the best. If I try something else, and let's say like she's flexing, body builder. Ah, it was the wrong layer. The result were amazing. The wait is over. <laughs> no. Okay, okay. Let's try from this one. Um, good. A builder. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. That's great. Interesting. Wanderer above the sea of fog. Airplane. What if instead we'll have a zeppelin? Here. Yeah. That's cool. Futuristic city. Hmm. Nothing happened. So we take into account that they were like a big zeppelin just, just there. And it creates a little copy of it. Hmm. Massive cloud. Beautiful. <laughs> Let's see what we can do with the famous photo of Mohammed Ali. I already know it's really good with photograph, but let's see what he can do with a black and white photo. So let's extend the sets right here. Make it really big. Let's select, invert, generate. It's gonna be really interesting. Whoa, whoa. That is mind blowing. He knew like there were like some people here. Like you still can see like some photographer here. Of course, you cannot make all those faces, but I think in one year, it won't be a problem. You see all the details, the smoke. That is really nice. Let's see the other results. Yeah. What? <laughs> really like this one. Okay, last one, guys. Of course, I need to try with the Eiffel Tower. Hermes carry. All right. French scar. I saw an artist, Harry Fireroy, he did this. <laughs> on the Eiffel Tower for Hermes and it looks beautiful. Yeah, I just wanted to recreate this with the generative film. Look at this, it's really nice. He, he understood that you need to put the scarf around the Eiffel Tower. Wow, this one is mind blowing. I really like the style of the third one. Beautiful, beautiful. Does he understand baguette? <laughs> Why not? All right, guys, this is the end of this video. I hope you really enjoy it. Tell me your favorite artwork below and see you for the next one. Peace.